right, this is uh my first viewing. <sighs> Your second? Second. Okay. I already don't remember a goddamn thing about it. And, See, and I, I remember. I when know you I were watched done. it because there's a review. You know, because you said like, afterwards, you're like, you should review this. Like, there's some crazy shit in this. So yeah, I remember there was crazy shit. I just I can't remember what. I guess we're both kind of going into this like a first few. I'll I'll, I, I'll probably remember it as we go. Along. <laughs> so here we go. This is strange magic. Is Touchstone still a thing? No, this killed it. I love how whenever you see Lucasfilm now, it's you kind of cringe a little like, uh-oh. Uh, well, even the games were so amazing back then. Yeah. Now there's yeah. immediate tug at collar. <laughs> yeah. This was like the first thing Disney acquired when they bought Lucasfilm. The story goes that they took one look at this and they're like, what the hell do we do with this? <laughs> so I think it just came out with little or no fanfare. Was she trying to get a primrose petal? We better tell him. Should we be in Hercules? <laughs> <laughs> so this is Fairyland, right? Not the Dark Forest. Yeah, this is this this Fairyland. What a twist that would be! <laughs> <laughs> Old school fairies, like Celtic fairies. Yeah, some of them are creepy. They were like otherworldly gods that you didn't want to fuck with. To have fun, to see things, to have adventures. Oh my God, you're making Tinkerbell look butch. Those wings are kind of cool. I like the kind of look like butterfly and flowers. I like that's a little original. I, I, I dig that. How do we put it? It's like everything's slightly off. It's like Hill House. Everything's slightly off, so when you look at it as a whole, the whole thing just is like, ugh. Okay, this feels like it should have come did out they... the same time Don Blue's Thumbelina came out. Like it, it, feels, it feels like it should have been late 90s. Yeah. What's she trying to protect me from? <laughs> you can take care of yourself. Yeah. Oh, you don't say. A princess who can take care of herself. So yes. when does she have to be safe? It doesn't take long, if hey. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> they should sue Trolls. <laughs> like, this is essentially kind of the same movie. Yeah, but the people who made Trolls could say, honestly, that they'd never fucking seen this movie, because nobody did. <laughs> nobody did, yeah, yeah. Sure. We've gotta get home! You're looking at it. Why were they playing that, like, a new character! Because that, that's still her, right? It's a princess character, right? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's a little funny. I always have a soft spot for those jokes. The big, mean, giant animal going, Oh, scared by something very tiny. You were in the dark forest! Do you want what happened to the Sugar Plum Fairy to happen to you? Yeah, the Sugar Plum Fairy got ripped, took a walk off a building. No great loss! No, I heard the Nutcracker got him. The Nutcracker, come on. I'm your fairy goth mother. You make you stronger. You know, you ever see a movie like a musical and you're like, man, I wish there were more songs because the songs are so good. I wish they talked more in this. I know, because part of the problem is this would just be three lines of dialogue. Yeah. To be something effective, I'm better off without you. Instead, we have to get this whole fucking song. This feels like a movie somebody made for their daughter. Like, you know how Robert Rodriguez always makes all these movies mm -hmm. for his kids and stuff? <laughs> Baruch Assault! This is Baruch Assault's movie! George Lucas showing this to his daughter. I made this for you to make your childhood better. Dad, I'm 30! <laughs> oh, I grow up so fast. In terms of excitement has happened yet, yeah, the little chase with the lizard. But that's about it. Like, why would a kid be following this? So, the weird thing about it is, as much as we're complaining about the songs, because we're grown-ass adults, those are probably the only things that entertain the kids. My niece, if you, if you put a song on, it doesn't matter. She starts yeah, dancing. Yeah, yeah. Look at this face. <laughs> Look at this face. <laughs> what is, like, his face giving them energy? <laughs> Look at this face. <laughs> I don't know why like I legit faces. love that. Look at this <laughs> You know where she is? Rafiki will show you the way. <sighs> she liked that a little too much. Yeah. Uh, was, oh. Never let this imp get that potion. So is the imp supposed to be like Puck? I was going to say, is the imp Puck or is he Puck? I'd have to read Midsummer. That was never one of my favorite Shakespearean plays. People love it for the ending, because that's where you can get the most creative yeah. in doing the play. I think it's okay. I know a lot of people that hate it. I don't hate it. Put it. Prepare to be shaky. Oh. It's like even fairies have hobbits. I like how his armor includes his beer gut. Yeah. That would be my armor. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Bring me. 
The prisoner. The princess and I. <laughs> You idiot, you captured her stump double! <laughs> <laughs> Me, sugar plum! Uh, you know, there's a long silence there. I feel like we should have said something, but I, I just... I... What can you say? Salieri. There's no way... Okay, okay, we'll say something. Just don't sing. Uh. <laughs> Has the scene started or what? <laughs> <laughs> That's what? just me. That was just me sitting through this movie. Just... <laughs> Please tell me your name. I... I'm the Bog King. I can't tell the Scottish accent if it's Bug King or Bog King. I heard Borg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Bug King. Oh, yeah, remember this guy? <laughs> no. I do feel bad because you can see, like, there's talented animators that you look at the oh, yeah, no, you look at. I, yeah. Some of the timing, the expressions aren't bad. You can just feel like they were bound to this idea. Just be like, I guess do what we can. <laughs> well, at least you're not singing. I'm coming! <laughs> <laughs> you know, this guy's growing on me. No, actually, he was my favorite thing in the movie. <laughs> you know what it is? Because it looks like he's just going to be a generic villain, and the more kind of funny lines they slip him, mm -hmm. it's like, all right, mix it up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> you? Yes. Antidote? Working on it. I'm loving his expressions. Yeah. Anything for you, Bucky Wucky. She's acting like how she did at the beginning of the movie. Yeah. I'm still trying to even remember what she was like before this, like, badass yeah. hero character. It's like Frozen missing a few scenes. <laughs> yeah. It's like going from her as a little girl discovering her powers to just in the ice palace. Like, yeah. wait! <laughs> what happened here? I knew. He didn't want me to be you. This is like a fucking therapy session. Now, what uh, does right? this movie want uh, to be? I'll say this about this scene. I feel like this is the only song sequence I'll remember because it's kind uh, of yeah. taking it easy. So it's one that doesn't completely suck. It, it's not edited super fast. It's letting you kind of take in the imagery and stuff. Disgusting creatures, I come in peace. <laughs> It's like, every once in a while, yeah. there's like one little moment. <laughs> Just stab him right through the net. I don't I understand what the problem is. So many of these happy fairy tale problems would be solved if they just stab, stab people through the, the neck. neck. Yeah. No! My only regret is everything involving you. <laughs> So you see Basil Baker Street fly up with the little wheelie thing. <laughs> <laughs> Never judge something, or someone, by how it, or he, or she, looks. Set in a story where all the women are gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> are you a girl? Isn't it obvious? So that's her workaround, huh? All right. <laughs> Marianne? A word? You can do better than him. Remember that construction guy from Ferngully? He got a little bigger, yeah. but... But think about that. <laughs> he got a little bigger. <laughs> he just has a look like, shouldn't this be over? Why are we still going? And this really did not need to be a musical at all. No, no like, shit. Like completely no pointless. Shit. The few funny moments it had all had nothing to do with the song. And all the story is explained through yeah. talking because yeah, the none songs of the are jukeboxes. Explained so. through songs. Yeah. I was in the movie. I got thrown off a cliff! Well, yeah, it's, that... That's bad. It's not worse, but it's... It's, it, it's bad. I can see why I forgot it. Because yeah. a lot of it's very forgettable. I would totally forget it was a musical if people didn't tell me over and over that it was a jukebox. Yeah. I remember the Stockholm Syndrome part and found that amusing. Because it didn't stick to one bad or go all the way with a certain type of bad, I can't even say it's terrible. It's just... It's just bad. That make any sense what I just said? No, but neither did the movie. Yeah, that's fair. Just lame. I'm it's sure bad. we can get some uh, good Lucas jokes out of it. But, Special uh, effects are a tool, much like I am a tool. Indeed. <laughs> so that was um, that was strange, but uh, no magic. That's um, R two D two is based on my girlfriend's sex toy. Is that true? No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get, uh, abandon this video! <laughs> not, need, not 
anymore. <laughs> <laughs>